cheese on that bit. Yeah. This is how I like it. I'm gonna lie. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Cheeseburger Joe Show. I guess I can't eat that motherfucker right now then. I'm glad to have y'all. What's up? Just turned up in this bit as usual. We got new topics to talk about with y'all today. We might as well get right into it. We got young young boy. Um, oh, wait, wait, pause. You know I got to play myself in the background. You know how I like it. You know how I like it. Yeah. Anyway, we got your boy, uh, young boy. Talking about he going on a tour. And your Kodak, your boy Kodak, talking about they going on tour. Uh, 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 who else we got? We got Walker and Tammy. We got some tea there for all y'all that like to talk about tea. Usually we don't do that here. Yeah, you see what I had to do. Usually we don't do that here at the Cheeseburger Joe Show, but I'm going to give you a little update, a little insight of what's going on. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, also, we got Uzi, um, his missing diamond out his forehead. Um, Salt Walker, of course, he chimed in. And last but not least, we got our boy Joe. Uh, excuse me, our boy Steve, Joe's brother. Steve from um, Blue's Clues, look like back in the day, he gonna, he got a message for us, and he want to talk to us today. And he delivered this message today on Tuesday, and it's currently Tuesday still as I'm recording this message. Uh, and I'm glad to have you all part of this show. Let's jump right into it. Um, again, first we got your boy Kodak. Motherfucking Kodak Black. Your boy Kodak say him and young boy is going on a tour. And you can't tell them nothing. Uh, Kodak Black says he's going on tour again with young boy. And it can cost, it can, you know, run up to 20 motherfucking M's. 20 M's. $20. Now, is that 10 M's a piece? Like, young boy, here's 10 M's. Kodak going to get 10 M's. Or is Kodak talking about, hey, man, you know, me, myself, that could possibly be a, you know, possibly be a 20, 20 M's for my team. You know what I mean? He also stated that he was cool with Rondo. He is cool, excuse me, with, with, with Quando Rondo. But first, they got to run that friendly fade, man. Uh, let me play y'all a little snippet right here of what Jit hollering about, and, and, and we're going to see. But, yeah, Kodak say, man, we, we got to run that fade first, man. If anything, go ahead, we're going to squish squash, and, 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 and we'll be all Gucci. Just do got to give my fade first. So let's listen in. What they talking about, like? Like 20 M's for the toy, like you bust down Damn. 10 M's a piece. Mm. I need that. 20 M's a you know piece. But you know, wow. in the midst of that, okay, we gonna watch the call up. Me, me and Quando, I already told them. We and Quando, we just gotta squall, get us a little fade or something. <laughs> 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 but that's about, but a friendly one, and after that, bitch, shit, you my brother, or however. But you know, about my arm, about his SG, I'm standing on that. That, that's well, right. After, after that, after that, ain't that. And the Tim knows you stay in your little lanes, Tim. <laughs> they, they got this, this, they stay right there, Timothy. Little, little Timmy, <laughs> stay in your lane. I thought everybody in the world do this. I was just. Anyway, that's a little snippet right there. And I, I like it. I appreciate it. Um, I feel where young boy coming from. Look, man, how I was raised back in the day. If we're going to go ahead and squash it, we're going to go ahead and squash it. We're going to be mean about it or whatever. We're going to go ahead and, you know, hit the ones and twos, whatever it do. Not bring out no guns. Not got to bring out no knives. Not put nobody mama into the business, any of this and any other. And, again, like young boy stated, you know, Sniper Gang is a business. That's his That's his business. So, therefore, you know, the man standing on that. You can't be coming in here disrespecting Sniper Gang. So, what that man says, you know, on game, like, bro, we got to run that. We got to run that. We got to run that. And, of course, you know, the feud with YB, it, it goes all the way back. It goes back. The feud with YB and Young Boy, it dates all the way back to 2020 after the incarcerated Kodak commented on Instagram of Young Boy's baby mother after she was arrested for trying to stab another woman at the rapper's home. Kodak says, um, Kodak says, I cooperated, he shouted, Young Boy. For what? You stupid bitch about my wife? Ayana, get, get get up, get up, come here. You talking about this girl right here? You talking about my wife inside my house that I pay for? He added. Tell me, tell, tell, tell me why this nigga spoke on me from jail, huh? Why this nigga spoke on me from jail? Why the fuck you even watching me from jail, huh? Man, man, you was man, you was a bitch, man. This nigga gonna say I cooperated with the police. Man, we all know how young boy felt about that video. Uh, 
how he felt about that coming, excuse me, how he felt about that coming from Kodak. And he came back and, you know, he stood on that and he let that man know, look, bro, this is my old lady, bro. Of course I got her back. Of course I'm going to stand on that. So, again, that's what they few kind of started up. Of course, you already know they was kind of cool prior to the past and things of that sort of that nature. But it seems as if, you know, since young boy has been incarcerated, Kodak has kind of extended that olive branch and kind of want to be cool, squash it. I mean, could it be for the industry? Could it be for clout? Could it be, you know, young boy is still, if you ask me, I'm a young boy fan. I put him right next under Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne number one. Anyway, so could it be like just a clout thing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, let me go ahead and put on, because I know your bro at home right now. And when he get out, everybody going to be on this dick. You know, he supposed to be dropping the album, um, Sincerely Contrail. You know, he try, might be trying to get a feature on that bit. You know what I mean? Who knows? Then again, it could be all just, you know what, bruh? It was stupid. It was just, you know, I should have stayed in my place. Instead of being the bigger man in Kodak just saying that, like, hey, bro, I should have just stayed in my place, man, you know, and, 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 and comment on that. But I apologize, bro, and just squash it. But again, in the midst of that, me and Kondo, I already told them, me and Kondo, we got to address that little fade, you know what I mean? A little son, son, Kodak said, but a little friendly one. And, I mean, that's how we do it where we from, man. I understand that. I understand that. So, we're going to see what them people talking about. And who knows? They, they may get it popping. They may not get it popping. I mean, I'm down for them to get it popping. If they're going to do one of them celebrity boxing matches, sign me up. I will watch. I will watch. I just noticed I ain't even got my tunes going no more in the back. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. But, all right. Where we at? Where we at? Okay, cool. Next, next, next we got on the list. Let's see. Let me go ahead and switch this up. Who we got? We got Walker and motherfucking Tammy. Uh, Walker and Tammy. It seems as if... Whoa. Excuse me. Anyway, it seems as if Walker and Tammy are going through it yet again, yet again. It looks like the, uh, the couple may be calling the quits. Um, the musician and spouse Walker Flocker and Tammy both contributed quickly to spreading speculations that they are no longer together after sending each other cryptic a beat love Instagram posts in the past week. Um, the retired rapper Walker Flocker, who's 35, and his wife or ex wife, or who knows what they are right now, you know, uh, Tammy Rivera, she's also 35. Uh, a former star of the hit reality show Love and Hip Hop in Atlanta, as well as the current spinoff program Walker and Tammy. What the flocker? Uh, Walker, who was born in New York as Jaqueline James, um, sparked the rumor mill when when he posted this interesting shout out to his woman on her birthday. Let's turn this down a little bit so we can hit it. I mean, I don't think too much of it, but you know how the internet is. They take stuff and run with it. It's my job to kind of report on it. I mean, but then again, I don't know. So tune in and listen. Let's see what we got here. The man stated, with the whole world ahead of you, I don't see life slowing down no time soon. Happy 35th, love. He said before adding, be free, be happy, live today to the fullest. Happy birthday, Tam Blam. And, 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 and the comments right away were petty. I mean, right away. Um, you had somebody come in there. It's the be free for me. Uh, people was just chiming in, screaming, you know, happy birthday. And it just kind of threw people for a loop. Then also, when she replied back to Walker's comment, kind of didn't add, you know, it added a little bit more seasoning to the goddamn steak, if you know what I mean. Oh, let me see right here. Uh, basically, she shouted out. Screaming happy motherfucking birthday to my motherfucking nigga. She began. Walker, no matter where we go in life, what we do, who we are with, your back I will always have. That's on my soul, but you know that already, and I love you. You know, this type of language, you know, from both parties and marriages, it immediately is kind of incited speculation from the hip hop fans on the status of their roller coaster relationship. They've been broken up for several years, on and off due to Walla. Waka Flocka's, you know, cheating allegations, but over time they reconciled their marriage. You know, one person asks, "Are they still together?" Something don't seem right with me. With, with this right here with me. Mm -mm. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. What's going on? Y'all done broke up? Another person coming in. I can just tell y'all not together no more. Oh my gosh. 
with the crying emoji. Neither Walker nor Rivera has responded to the many fan comments as of today, Tuesday, August the 3rd, 2021. But again, I mean, like I said, I'm gonna leave it up to y'all. I'm gonna leave it up to y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Tell me how y'all feel. Again, from the cheeseburger, that, that ain't. Hey, that's what I got. That's what I'm reading. Um, if you ask me, it looked like there may be a little love in paradise. I don't know if they need a, another episode of marriage counseling. Look at that photo right there. Just look at him. Mm-hmm, Waka. Mm-hmm. Who is that texting you? Dipper, brother, dip. Anyway. All right, next we got motherfucking Uzi. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I said this, and I wish I'd have had the podcast out running in time before. Because I said this. I said somebody was going to come and rip that diamond right out his motherfucking forehead. They didn't rip it all the way out, but they tried. Um, Lil Uzi Vert, his diamond, pink, pink diamond, was nearly snatched off his forehead. Lil Uzi Vert says fans ripped his $24 million, uh, tw- yes, yes, I said $24 million diamond out his forehead. What is the world coming to, man? This story might make you kind of, you know, wince for several reasons. Luzi Vert says he was doing some crowd surfing at a recent music festival when someone yanked the jewel that was embedded in his forehead. You see that? Like my little slit right there. That's what he had it at. Lil Uzi. I had a show at Rolling Loud Festival. I was jumping in the crowd. They kind of, you know, they kind of ripped it out. That's what he told TMZ. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily, I'm not going to necessarily say they rip it out because obviously you can see right there, you know, uh, there's just some blood and things of that nature. And I mean, the pink diamond is reportedly again worth $24 million. And it was surgically implanted into the rapper's face earlier this year. Um, in January, he tweeted about it and saying, you know, about him buying the pink diamond. Um, I've been paying on this diamond for about from uh, from from Elliot for about four years now, since 2017. And I've been paying on it since. The first time I saw a real natural pink diamond, a lot of M's on my face. <laughs> Uzi. Y'all know that's how he talk. Hey, hey, don't, don't, I'm just saying, don't, don't come for me. All I'm saying is, you gotta hit it with the shoulders. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's that Uzi talk. Look at him. I don't know, I fuck with this music though. They're a little, little, little weird. All these young bucks, but, um, Again, Jit got the diamond ripped out his face on at Rolling Loud. Um, luckily, he he recovered it. He still has the diamond, but you know what that brought on? That brought on more haters, more people to kind of jump in the convo, kind of put their two cents in and talk about how they were first. This man right here. <laughs> Sauce Walker, the drip god, um, Jit stated that he was the first one to have a diamond encrusted in his face. Although it's not the $24 million diamond, uh, this diamond estimated reportedly at $250,000, which is a quarter M. Um, and again, he claimed, you know, the same thing like, hey, y'all, young niggas, I told y'all, you know what I mean? You can't do like me, you can't be like the sauce god. This is what I do. Um, you know, and he also insists that Elliot diamonds are fake. Yes, well, all these rappers, some of them that be shouting out, I mean, since this goes all the way back to like the early 2000s, uh, you always heard Lil Wayne shout out, you know, Elliot and their diamonds, you know, Elliot Ante. Um, but Walker wants to, you know, excuse me, Walker, Sauce Walker wants to kind of come out and say that, you know, his diamonds are fake. In a series on tweets, this was early in January, the return of rapper implied that he paid, you gotta say, the 24 M's for that diamond. Then Sauce Walker kind of chimed in saying, little nigga, this was 250,000 of them things. Um, and he had it basically dermally in place in, uh, in his face. And he called out Elliot in the process of being a fraud and even claiming that Uzi wasn't a fan of his work because he actually went on the jeweler's design who he called a fake diamond selling the bitch. And two Instagram videos days before flossing his new accessory. So basically, Walker Walker's just saying, look, bruh, before Uzi got that motherfucker in his face, two days before that, 
He was in there calling you a bitch, bro. He was in here. Okay, yeah, I done lost my light a little bit. Get shit like that. Cheeseburger Joe Show. I ain't editing the damn thing. It's all real over here, baby. God damn it. I'm gonna make it work. Work with me. Fuck you. How about that? Anyway, uh, Uzi, 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 Uzi didn't give two flying fucks. But Blood didn't give two flying fucks. He was like, look, bro, I does this. I does this. I, I just don't understand. I just, I really don't understand. I'm trying to understand in your forehead, though. In your forehead. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, that's what these rappers are doing now. These young bucks. They've upgraded from back in my day. It was a lot of tattoos on the face. Um, you know, that was things was, you know, don't get the tattoos on your face and all this other. No, no. Nowadays, that's the first thing you got to do is go get a motherfucking tattoo on your face. If you don't got a tattoo on your face, you ain't hard. Something ain't right. Something wrong. Uh, you know, you need tattoos. And oh, 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 you got to have a pending murder charge. So, I said, these rappers nowadays, they're... They're saucing it up. They're walking it up. <laughs> they're copying each other. Um, I don't know. Again, look, man, I'm just reporting it because it's all crazy. It's all facts. And these rappers just want to be um, included that much that they have to, you know, kind of mention again over and over. I done it first. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, um, we got our boy Steve here as well uh, from Blues Clues. I'm gonna play a clip from Steve. Basically, just look at him. Just look at him. How he's sitting there, all innocent and like he hasn't done a thing. Um, I believe Steve went to rehab. If you ask me, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe Steve went to rehab. I know a lot of people like to say, "Oh, uh, you know, oh, uh, Steve left the show because this, that, and the other, yada, yada, yada." I don't know. I think when I, you know, maybe because I went to public school, something like that. You know, the little hood rumor that nigga went to rehab. Steve going to rehab. Steve was on drugs. And I kind of just went with it like, shit, uh, just Steve on drugs. Yeah, I believe it. Steve went to rehab. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where you went. Telling everybody the same thing. Yeah, Steve went to rehab. Steve on drugs. Yeah, no more Blue's Clues. Steve on drugs. <laughs> um, but again, uh, we have a little message from Steve here. Um, this this kind of just brings on a little nostalgia. And I mean, it just kind of puts me back into a good place. Um if you remember being a child, if you remember being, um, how do I say, growing up in the 90s or the 2000 era, you specifically know what it was like, um, basically having Steve as almost like a, a stepdad in the house that you didn't want, but you did, or like a big brother or something. I'm not entirely sure how to put it, but Steve was there and... They taught us a lot about friendship, taught us a lot about finding clues. <laughs> Freaking Steve. It's my guy. Uh, salt, pepper, paprika. Here's the mail and never fell. It makes me want to whack my tail and win it. Whack my tail. I mean, I can quote so much from that time. Rocket power, blues clues, um, Eliza and the thornberries, the wild thornberries. I was a Nickelodeon person, um, even for Disney. I think it was Disney, uh, not Disney, but uh, Cartoon Network, the, uh, the kids next door. I'm number one. But anyway, we have a little message from Steve. Again, this was kind of put out today. Um, Steve letting us know he hasn't forgot about us. With that being said, Cheeseburger hasn't forgot about y'all either. You know, I love y'all. I'm glad y'all here. I'm glad y'all tuned in. Um, like I said, again, I'm going to leave y'all with this message from Steve. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for being a part of the Cheeseburger Joe show. Um, again, this is just another episode. We're going to keep bringing them to you. We're going to keep going live. We're going to keep doing the shit. We're going to keep bringing it up. Um, we're going to keep running it up. I love y'all. And remember, I'm going to always tell you the truth with some cheese on it. Believe that. Now I can get back to my damn meal. Y'all just interrupt me. Oh, Steve, hold on. Steve. All right.
like, where the hell is Steve article at? I mean, I found the article. Where the hell I did that video? I was going to show. Oh, here you go. All right, here we go. Calm down. I found it. No, like, this nigga got to get it together. I found it. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve, why'd you go, bro? Oh, Steve, why'd you go, man? <laughs> oh, Steve, we loved you, man. <laughs> oh, Steve. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Ignore me. We started out with clues. And now it's what? Student loans. And um, jobs. And families. And some of it has been kind of hard. You know? I know you know. And I wanted to tell you that I, I really couldn't have done all of that without your help. I guess I just wanted to say that after all these years, I never forgot you. I never forgot Ever. you either, Steve. And I'm super glad we're still friends. Cheeseburger loves you, Steve. You guys, I love this that. That, the that was just beautiful, you guys. That and that really did break the internet. Um, like I said, it came out of nowhere. Big Steve. Didn't he look pretty clean there? Like I said, I believe Steve went to rehab. He had that that rehab hat on you know what let me stop for this people can be anyway again cheeseburger thanks you uh i'm glad you guys tuned in and um i'm out of this bit holla <laughs>